Hey, this is Tim Pierce. I want to show you a way to travel anywhere on the neck and play in any mode at any scale without skipping a beat and do it in the middle of phrases. Click the link below if you want to see the expanded lesson on this in the masterclass with tabs and a jam track. There's a 14 day free trial so you can check it out and see if it's right for you. <laughs> When I play lead guitar, I'm constantly changing positions in the middle of phrases. The end of that solo is a perfect example. I often go downward with the index finger and upward with the ring finger. But you can use the second finger too. Little fingers are a little weak, so I don't use it that often for that. I use it for plenty of stuff, but not for this so much. So I'm usually advancing up like this. Or descending down like this. And no matter where I go, I can stop anywhere and start a new phrase and be playing in a new position. I'll demonstrate. To put it really simply, I'm using one string playing with one finger to travel around the neck and play in every position on the guitar. And when I land somewhere, it's like getting off of a train. I can stay for a while and explore the neighborhood. Now the entire last phrase of the solo uses this tool also, but I'm only moving one fret, but it still helps me get around. You see that? I drop down and I'm here. And then I come back up. So it allows me to play in A major pentatonic and come up and do this G shape right here. So I start here, drop down, back up. And then I slide down here. Let me see if I can do it fast. I always encourage people when they're learning something to practice it at half speed, but then perform it at half speed. Because when you try and perform it, keeps you honest, keeps you reaching for something above the practice level where you're trying to actually, you know, put English on it and have a pocket and make it feel good. Let me try it over this track. And you can do it over the exact same track. Let's see how it works out. And the thing is, it's actually harder to do at half speed, that little rink. I can actually play this at double speed better, I think. I gotta try it one more time. Here I go. Wow. Now, another one of my favorite moments in the solo is near the beginning. Let's listen. So here's a case where the index finger is descending and leading the phrase, but the entire phrase is in motion the entire time. And I'm up here playing. And I drop down here. And now I travel down. And when I land there, I'm set up to do this. So here's a case where the entire phrase travels the entire time. And it's one string playing. I love the way it sounds to do this. I could have done this. That sounds okay too, but on one string, it sounds really thick and connected and the timbre's the same. So now I'm perfectly positioned to do this very familiar traditional A major pentatonic riff. And true to form, I'm sliding up with my third finger to move back up the neck. 
And I want to stress, very important, all of these position shifts are happening in the middle of phrases. If the listener's not looking, the listener wouldn't know that your hand was moving all over the net. The great thing for us as guitar players is every time we advance or descend up one or two frets or three or five frets, wherever you go, you have a whole new template to create unique phrases. Here's an example of kind of an odd one. If I'm here. And I go way up. I slide all the way up, third finger, once again, all the way up to fret 11. All of a sudden, I'm in this position to do this kind of odd phrase. And once I've done the odd phrase, I can do a very familiar phrase. I'm gonna do a take where I mostly lead up the neck with my third finger and mostly descend down the neck with my index finger to exaggerate it, to demonstrate it. Now it won't be all that because it never is. There'll be some other fingers involved, but let me exaggerate it and demonstrate it. Let's look at the chords really quick. A, G, A again, and then E minor, G to D as the turnaround. So I'm playing an A mixolydian. Alan Hines, great guitar player, great teacher. We did a video a couple of years ago where he said, there are three important modes, three modes you use most of the time, and they lead you into using the other four. And those are Ionian, Dorian, and Mixolydian. I am playing an A mixolydian. And it's one of my favorite modes. I don't say the names of the modes when I play. I never learned them that way. I see them. Uh, so when I teach them, I actually have to relearn the names sometimes. But I see the actual patterns without hearing the name in my head. So it's okay if you don't actually remember the name of the mode. So this has a great tritone in it. And I don't use it all the time, but it's fun some of the time. Now, being that we are in A mixolydian, that means we're in the key of D major. Right? So if I follow that down three more notes, you'll see it land on A and you'll hear how it makes sense. Here's D major. Turning right into A mixolydian. If you get a chance, check out the expanded version of this video with tabs and a jam track in the masterclass. There's a free trial so you can check it out and see if you like it. This is on loan to me from B&G. It's called a stepsister. Kind of sounds like it looks. Very elegant, very retro sounding. Sounds like an old guitar. This led me in a new direction. I'm going to do one more take that's mostly based on double stops and drone strings. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. If you are a subscriber, please ring the bell. It lets us let you know every time a new video is released. You can also support us by clicking the link below for the online masterclass. As I always say, we're up to over 100 hours of lessons and content, over a thousand videos. There's a 14-day free trial. Take your time, take a long look. We'd love to have you join us.